It was 1976 and I was doing a film with Nicholas Rogue starring David Bowie called The Man Who Fell to Earth. I was playing a professor and I was laying in bed getting ready to pork a student of mine and she's playing with my prick and they say, Rip, it's looking a little small. Can we get you stiff? Should we use a fluffer? Because it doesn't look like you're getting any bigger. So everybody thinks I got a small dick, but... <laughs> Once you've seen Ann Margaret's tits, and trust me, I saw my fair share of those fun bags when I was shooting the Cincinnati Kid with Steve McQueen. Your cock don't ever recover from getting that hard. Just ask Jack Nicholson. When that cocksucker wasn't too busy stealing my rolls and Easy Rider and one flew over the cuckoo's nest, he had some time with no hands, big old knockers, and carnal knowledge. <laughs> Speaking of Easy Rider, have I already mentioned that time Des Hopper pulled a knife on me? I hit Darwin Mailer in the head with a hammer once. Anyway, where was I? Oh, so the next thing I know, I'm standing in a Litchfield Bank Corp office in Connecticut with a handgun completely shit-faced after I broke in because I thought it was my house. <laughs> ah, the memories. All right, let's do one where uh, we all start chanting, drinking, drinking, and then he'll pass the cup to you, and then you pass it to him, and I pass okay, it to you. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm going to count of three. We're going to, one, two, three. Drinking, drink. No. I mean, this is stupid. <laughs>